You want to talk about some real shit? I don't like all these Nortenos coming down here. I don't. Straight up. I'll say it how I say it. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to say it. Give a f That shit ain't cool with me, dog. It's not. I'm not. I don't like it. It bothers me. That's all I got to say. It bothers me. It bothers the f out of me. That shit bothers me, dog. Like... I don't like all these fools coming down here. So you don't feel like that they would embrace you up there? Fuck or, no. Or go up there and do shit? No. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. They wouldn't. They wouldn't. It's like, I just don't agree with that shit. I don't agree with the no jumper shit. The way that they're bringing them over here. I'm cool off that shit. Like, I am. And I'm just... It just, I just gotta get out the way. I don't like it. I do not like it. And, and y'all did a diss track, but they did like seven or eight. I did one back. You know what I'm saying? I don't like it. It's like, and they're trying to pin it on me, man. Like, like I'm the one that's doing this. But nah, I'm not, I'm, it is what it is. I don't like it, and I'm not okay with it. I gotta figure it out. Little Weirdo just made a diss track too, right? Him and Lazy Boy been going back and forth. Who, him and who? Uh, Lazy boy. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that yeah, that's the name I think. That food oh that food something else, man. Uh shout out to the weirdo man, but yeah, the other dude. That food something else, man. I I'll be seeing what the f he be talking about. Him, all them dudes, all them dudes. I'm cool off that shit. Recently I heard uh I'll say I heard Rico Too Smooth came down here to LA. You know what I'm saying? Like I heard he came down here to LA. I was in Utah, like, but I really want to talk to Adam22 and just be like, what's going on with this shit, man? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because if they're going to treat me the same way, I can't go up north to go do a Thizzer Cypher. Why the f*** you get to come down south to do a No Jumper 22? Why the f*** ain't I tripping with my homeboys? You know what I'm saying? Why not going where they're 100 deep with the essays and f***ing with your shit? It's the same thing. So, you know, that's in the process right now, going to proper channels to see how I can go about it. But I'm going to let you know, like, I'm not okay with it. I'm not cool with it, and I'm tripping. I'm out here tripping. I don't want them down here. I don't want to go up there either, but I don't want them down here. Was that the main cause for you and Adam kind of having some back and forth going? Mm, I don't got a problem with Adam. I just got a problem with what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? He, he doesn't realize how, what the f*** he's doing. You know what I'm saying? And just the way he's making, he's f***ing with the money flow. That's all I got to say. He's f***ing with my money flow. Where everybody's money flow down here, by him doing that, he he's uh he's you uh, know throwing dirt on the name like you know what I'm saying like like if I, like if I fucking allowed it like if I didn't know that he was gonna go that day like if I fucking knew that homeboy was gonna go to no jumper that day you don't think I would have went over there with a hundred motherfuckers over there and parked in the front you know what I'm saying like yeah I probably would have and the same thing on their end. But yeah, I don't got a problem with Adam. I just got a problem with what he's doing. Shout out to No Jumper, man. They put me on too, somewhat. They put me on in their own way. I f*** with Adam. I would be open to having another conversation with him, but you know what I'm saying? Off the camera, just me and him. I got to go talk to him real soon. I, I got a new phone. I'm going to tap in with you. Adam, tap in with me, man. You tripping, big dog. You tripping, homie. That shit is out. That shit's out. All my people think that shit's out. Even my mom thinks that shit's out. My mom, she's like, your what the fuck? Yeah, you and my mom's like, don't like that? Yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? Like, yeah, they don't tell me when they come down there. I was in Utah. Best believe if I knew they would have came down, I would have, you know, pulled up. Just go send my love. Go send my love, man. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I would have. I'm really from a gang out here. I'm really Sudan. I'm really South Side. Like, I'm really. Rapping comes second. I'm really a South Sider out here. I'm really fucking from LA and I'm not from the North and I'm from down South and I represent and I got a big platform to represent my people and I'm not cool with that. That shit's not cool, dog. And that's about it. I had to get it out of my chest. That's about it. I got a big platform, man. I got a big platform. Whatever the fuck I say, motherfuckers want to watch it, obviously. So I'm going to say for my people on my end, on the down South, on anything from Bakersfield and down, I'm not cool with that them coming down here is it bothers me it really does and to the people i'm gonna put a stop to it man i really am it's not, it's not right it's like they're just poking the bear 
like just making it making shit worse. Just stay up there and we stay down here. And that's about it. And not drop location so I could go do a feature with him. You know what I'm saying? And and go about it that way. Next question, I'm over this shit, but I, I'm I'm not happy with it. It's a big topic. I see it in my face every day. You know what I'm saying? These fools keep talking about it. Like I said, they do seven diss tracks. Seven or six. I did one. Blueprint. And oh, it sucks. Oh, I freestyled that shit. It was just heat of the moment. Put that bitch on. Benji Rowe put it on. Shout out Benji Rowe. I freestyled it on the first shot. First shot. Boom. Ripped them off. Bands, gold toes, Rico too smooth, lazy boy. Ripped them all in one in one in one fucking song. And then I posted it. Oh, his rap so that's a freestyle. I got three hundred thousand in two weeks. I smoke all you fools. Don't matter. I got the city behind me, dog. And that's about it. You could take all your time in your little math lab writing all them fucking lyrics down. You still ain't gonna fuck with me, dog. I got three hundred thousand off a of freestyle on the first shot. Like these fools like, come on, dog. When they're getting more views than me, then I'll be like, damn. Okay, they're doing it like fool. I didn't even try, and I smoked you. I had to enter, you know, entertain them one time. I didn't even try on the hood. I didn't, damn homies. I didn't even try on that shit. First try, I laid it down and boom, ripped you motherfuckers. Three hundred thousand in two weeks. Where am I? Two hundred seventy thousand. Two weeks, twelve days. It's embarrassing, homie. Tell your fans to watch your shit. Stop watching my shit. But yeah. We're talking about banging on wax. We're talking about music-wise. Hey, dog. Whether it's whack or not, you still didn't get more views than me, mother. So, what the? F it's funny, dog. Don't matter how you won the race. What well, if I said the first say? Don't matter how you won the fucking race. As long as you won, you could have won by inch by a mile. You could have won by cheating. I still won. I'm still winning. I'm still up, and I'm not gonna entertain it no more. But I'm not cool with it. Next question, Adam. We gonna talk, man. Yeah, I'm acting now. I got acting classes now. Every uh, Tuesday with Richard Cabral. I got a film coming out about my life. It's about my life, but it's a there's a little fiction in it. So it's about my life in a what's your name from or uh, Tuesdays? Ortega? Yeah. Uh, Wednesday. Tuesdays. Or oh, Wednesdays, yeah, Wednesdays. What's your name? Uh Jenny Ortega. Jenny Ortega? No, it's not. The girl. Jenny Ortega. Dude, watch her. Wednesday's Ortega. Wednesday Ortega actor. Oh, okay. She plays my girlfriend in this film. I what are you, she's what real are you playing? Big. Are Look you... her up. She's real big. Wednesday Ortega. Wednesday Ortega? Yeah, Wednesday Ortega actor. I'm going to shout her out real quick, man. All my fans follow her. Jenna. Jenna Ortega. Jenna. Wednesdays. She pretty? She's pretty, huh? Oh, okay. Oops. John Burstein's in the film, too. You know who John Burstein is? Bernthal. John Bernthal. Yep. The yep. Punisher. The dude that played the Punisher. You know who else is in my film? Drummer Boy. You know who else oh, is shit. in my film? Chito Ranas. Okay, that's what's up. Plays my cousin. You know who else is in my film? Solis. Oh, Lefty shit. Gunplay. I think we got RJ in there. What do you and mean by your film? They're trying to film a, it's a film. It's a Netflix Hulu film is it? directed by Richard Cabral, which was from End of Watch, The Mayans, it's an independent. American Horror Story, whatever. It's an independent film, which is uh, going to be sold most likely to Hulu and Netflix. And uh, they're putting a big budget on it. And uh, Richard Cabral, John Burstein, uh, Jenna Ortega, Lefty Gunplay, um, Drummer Boy Chito Ranas, RJ. Maybe even Jeep Rico, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it's a film about a, a little boy who's a Mexican essay growing up in the hood in L.A. And uh, his mom's getting beat up, beat down by her husband in uh, drug use. And he goes to uh, juvenile hall, goes to prison, be, you know, gets big and becomes the biggest rapper in L.A. I said becomes the most famous rapper in L.A. Who wrote the script? Richard Cabral. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm the main actor. You know, you know what's crazy is I interviewed him, man, like. Cause he right when he right when he kind of quit rapping, he's a good guy. Two yeah. and three, Charlie Rowe, baby jokes, baby jokes. Yeah, man, I, I interviewed him real quick, man, uh, and he got mad at me because I put the interview out. I thought the interview was cool, but he didn't like it. Yeah, we gotta do. You know, he won't get mad at you because uh, 
I, di- I didn't know. I mean, he we just it was I like didn't, a three I didn't minute interview on this interview. They said we gotta do an edit film. He's doing his job, but I, 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 I Cam Capone, I've been doing a good job, huh? Yeah. I've been pretty media trained now. <laughs> a little better than last time. I yeah, started yeah, dissing sure. a couple of motherfuckers. I started dissing a couple of motherfuckers, but no, you know, Richard Cabral, man, he's just, he's a man. He's a man. He he turned into a man and he turned into a responsible. He's a role model of mine. And I look up to that guy and I appreciate everything that he's doing for me. And, uh, you know, my mother, uh, my, my coach, my coach, my acting coach, what's his name, Anthony? Anthony Gallardi, yup, I remember his name. Anthony Gallardi, man, he's my acting coach. He also taught Will Smith and all that. And they, I, I got acting classes every Tuesday. Tuesday to Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> when do you start filming? Um, Any day now, huh? Coming soon. Coming soon, man. Netflix to me on the big screen. Now, if this happens and it works out the way and I'm taking full opportunity of... I'm taking full advantage of this opportunity. If this shit hits, if this shit hits, left on the screen, it's over with, dog. You're rich. I'm rich. We are rich. Like you know what I'm saying? And I'm really taking that 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 shit serious and acting is very uncomfortable. What's up? This is Cam Capone. We got more content like this coming soon. So hit that like button, subscribe, and stay locked in to Cam Capone News.